stay tuned because Good Sports is coming next. Good Sports was recorded on Sunday, May 22nd. Welcome to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness Show. I am Steve Fish. I'm the publisher of Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine. Today we're here at the Kansas City Ice Center located on Johnson Drive, two miles west of 435, where you can skate on their outdoor pavilion or on their indoor ice rink. Call 913-441-3033 or visit their website, kcicecenter.com, for more details on public skate sessions, upcoming camps, and their Learn to Skate and their Learn to Play Hockey programs. Now, before we get started with the show, I want to tell everyone that our current issue of Kansas City Sports and Fitness can be picked up at over 700 locations in KC, and it's absolutely free. Also, this month, KC Sports continues to celebrate our 19th straight year as the Sports Illustrated of Kansas City. Now, in our hockey report presented by the Kansas City Ice Center, we write about the United States Hockey League team that will be making Kansas City home and will play at the just-approved Blue Hawk Arena in Overland Park. In our Sportingly Summit Soccer Report, we write about their affiliation with Sporting Kansas City and what that brings to Sportingly Summit members. Now, you can visit our new and improved website, kcsportspaper.com, to find a link to a list of locations where you can find Kansas City Sports and Fitness, and you can actually check out a PDF of the entire issue on our website, too. And now joining us on Good Sports is Christy Lewis. She is the Assistant General Manager here at the Kansas City Ice Center. Welcome, Christy. Thank you for joining us today. Today is a crazy day here. It, it's quiet right now. It is quiet right now. <laughs> but that's going to change very quickly. What's going on here? We are having our annual spring ice show today. Today is our second showing, so we've got 90 skaters coming and then <laughs> all of their family and friends to watch. So it's going to be crazy busy, but it's great. Yeah, and you're one of those skaters. Correct? I am one of those yeah. skaters. Yes. Yeah. So what what did you skate to? Uh, what what song or, or? Um. Well, we're doing one hit wonders. My solo is to Barbie Girl. It's a song <laughs> okay. from the '90s when I was a kid. Um. And then I'm I also remember that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that my kids had a video or something yeah. like that. Of, of All that. pink. It's it's fun. Um. And then I'm in the adult number. We've got 17 adult skaters, and we're wow. skating. Yeah, <laughs> we're the biggest uh, group number, and we're skating to Cotton Eye Joe. Oh, okay. So very well, fun. That's an extremely popular one, though. Are you yes. going to do? What I what I've seen with Cotton Eye Joe is is a lot of people will kick their leg and clap underneath their leg. No, what's your, what's yeah? I'm <laughs> but we are we hard. are we're doing part of the line dance and part of the circle dance. Uh, the coach for that, Christy Turner, did a great job choreographing. All the coaches that choreographed for the show did an amazing job. It's really really neat. Even if you're not into skating, you should come out. and... <laughs> Enjoy it. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. yeah, by the sh- time this show airs, it'll have already happened, obviously. True. But we're going to try and you're going to try and get me some pictures so that we can show some of that stuff. Absolutely. Too. Show the little guys, yes. little, little kids. Oh. It's always fun. And then you've got somebody that's, what, 90 or something like that? 60? 60s, yeah. Okay. A part of our adult group. And then we've got like little three and four year olds. They're adorable. So just all different ages and levels. Mm-hmm. It's really neat to see. Yeah. I saw a video, I think, on YouTube of a 90 year old woman who was yes. doing a, a skating routine. So that's, yes, that's what yes. threw me. But yeah, that, that, was, that was something to see. It truly shows that you can <laughs> skate. It's a lifetime activity. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. And you start here at the Kansas City Ice Center. So we've got that. And, and congratulations to Kay uh, Genches, who put this whole thing together. Please pass that along to her I will because I know it's 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 a major major project it's a major project but she just she does a wonderful job she picked out the theme this time last year <laughs> and we just rolled with it she does a fabulous job with all the costumes the choreography the coaches that's wonderful we that's appreciate great. her yeah. a lot yeah so you've got a number of figure skating camps to tie in sort of tie in with yes. that these kids that we'll see out there today uh again starting in june you've got a number of figure skating uh camps that are coming up fill us in on on what people can sign up for if you're a beginner or you know just getting along a little bit have done learn to skate and you know are ready to take that next step or you're at this higher level we've got two different camps we have an advanced basic skills camp and that's going to be for skaters who've passed the basic level five Mm -hmm. Um, and they'll go out there a couple times a week with some different coaches and just keep advancing their skills as well as we have our champ camp, which is going to be for skaters that are a little more advanced. Most of their single jumps, um, same thing. They're going to learn choreography, artistry, as well as working on jumps and spins. Excellent. Excellent. So jumps, uh, what's the highest level jump that you've done? Is it a double or? Yeah. Yeah. do you, you do a double still? The, yeah, they're a little inconsistent, but I can still uh, of course. <laughs> hit them here and there. Uh, but we've got 
kids out here working on doubles and triples. So we've wow, got some amazing really? skaters here in Kansas City. Yeah. Well, I know I see them uh, as I'm setting up. Uh, often when we're right. inside there and yeah there's some great talent i mean you can just yes. tell right away how strong a skating ab- yes. how long strong their skating abilities are and they're getting coached here in kansas city and that's that's it's just awesome. terrific yeah. yeah yeah so let's uh jump on over one of the other things you guys are doing this summer is a lot of different hockey camps absolutely dean, dean handles those i think he works with gary emmons yep on those um what are some of those camps that are coming up and how's the sign up going for that we've got f- five camps coming up this summer we've got a power skating camp where the kids are going to work on their skating their stride power Mm -hmm. we've got sniper shooting so that's of course going to be about all the shots right working with the goalies um take a couple weeks off and then we'll come back with the u8 new player clinic so that'll be for the little guys or for people and u8 is is Eight and under? Eight and is, under, is yep. Is that what it is? Okay. Um, as well as if you've got some players that are maybe 9, 10, 11 that are going to be playing their first right, season, that's right. going to be for them too. Right. So the the new player clinic, it, what is it involved in that? Is it, I, I think what it is, is a bunch of stations where yes. they work on puck handling and they work on shooting. And, they, and they're uh, skating, passing, and passing. They'll just rotate around the ice. The guys do a great job out there. They'll do an hour on ice. Then they'll come and do an hour off ice because okay. that off ice training is just as important as the on ice. Sure. And then they'll go back on ice for another hour. Sure, sure. And then you've got the battle camp, yes. which is something that I always come out and yes. and tape at the battle camp. And that is that is one where I know I, with these other ones, a lot of kids come back year after year because when I showed up here last year, they said, oh, there's the TV guy. You're, I was here last year. And then, yep. Yeah, so. no, um, I did the rosters last year for it, and I'm seeing a lot of the same names this yeah. year, uh, yeah. which is awesome. I mean, they really do an amazing job. Our staff here, Dean, Gary, uh, when Sean comes down, yeah. uh, Jordan Maloney and Eric Porzelt are two of our guys on staff that go and help with the camps, and they just do a fantastic job. Yeah, and the cool thing is you have a former NHL player that is friends with Dean yes. that won the Stanley Cup <laughs> yes. um, back in 2001, I think. I believe so, yes. Uh, Sean Podeen, he played for the Colorado Avalanche. He also played for the Blues at one point. He played for the Flyers, I know, as well, but that's all I remember. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, yeah, and uh, but you know that's great for the kids to be it able is. to learn from some somebody that played at that high level. So um, what else is going on as far as registration goes uh, for those camps, uh, the, the skating, figure skating camps and the, the uh, hockey camps? How can people register for that? Uh, registration is going now for the figure skating camps. Just come out here to the rink and we've got forms um, that any of our staff can help you with to fill out. Okay. Um, same thing with the hockey camps and some of those are starting to fill up. Mm-hmm. So get out here and do it soon. Um, they can also email Dean and he can let you know about spots and availability or if you have any questions. What's the number that they can call? Uh, they can call the rink here, 913-441-3033, or check for our contact information on our website, which right. is kcicenter.com. Yeah, and website's very good. It has all that information yes. on there. And it has the last show that we did with Dean up yes. there, too, which is great. I'm glad you guys added that. That's just always fun for you know people to get to know the people that are here at the rink before Absolutely. they drop their kids off for, you know public skate or whatever and i've had people comment and they're like oh it's really neat to see that you know (laughs) what's going on in the rink and nice yeah i'm glad to hear that i'm very glad to hear that uh so some of the other summer activities that are going on is it's going to get warmer and warmer it's a nice day today fortunately (laughs) Uh, it's just going to get hotter school is basically out pretty much now yep um and again we're taping this at the end of may um but you can drop your kids off here for a public skate and wear them out inside the rink. They can stay be cool, nice and cool. But but run around here at the rink. Well, tell us about the public skating um, sessions that you have upcoming and, and just what's going on with them. Right now we've got our Saturdays and Sundays. Um, we'll have those every week. Saturdays are 1245 to 245. Mm-hmm. And Sundays mm-hmm. are from 1 to 3. As well as the first couple weeks of june we're going to have monday through thursday 12 30 to 2 30 oh great so that'll be you know almost every day of the week drop your kids off it is a great way to stay cool <laughs> um but work up a sweat but wh- work up a sweat you, absolutely want, yeah yeah and wear the kids down because exactly. they're breathing that cold air <laughs> good exercise <laughs> yeah. so mom and dad you know uh if you want to wear them down get them out here to the ice skating rink yep um one of the other things that uh if if they 
do that public skating and they like what they're doing, they can sign up for Learn to Skate and Learn to Play Hockey programs. And those go all summer long as yes. well. Fill us in on those details. Learn to Play Hockey, we are in, I believe, almost the end of this session. Mm -hmm. uh, we will take a couple weeks off, but our next session will start July the 9th. Right. Yeah, um, that's what I have. We have registration open on the website now at kcicecenter.com. If you go to, I believe it's on the front page, almost right at the top. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. Um, as well as you can come out to the rink, and we have forms out here where we can get you signed up. Learn to skate. We've got uh, Mondays in June, four-week session, and then we'll have Mondays and Saturdays in July, another four-week session before getting back into it for the fall. And those kids get passes to the uh, public skating yep. session as well. That's a part of the registration. Yeah, it's a great it? deal because it'll include their skate rental if they don't have their own. It's a great way to practice, stay cool, get out of the heat. Exactly. Get out of mom and dad's hair. <laughs> <laughs> mom and dad, you can skate with them too Absolutely. if you want. Absolutely. There's nothing wrong with that. So some of the other things that you have that are going on here uh, all summer long, are you still going to do the Friday stick time for adults? Is that yes. going to continue yep. to happen? Every Friday from noon to one thirty, uh, $15, adults 18 and up. Uh, we've had a really great turnout the last few mm -hmm. weeks. Um, I think I had like 26 guys out there on Friday. Yeah, and it'll get even bigger because the high school kids can then come out right and be in the college kids. yeah the college home. kids are coming back i've seen a few of them the last couple weeks so that will go ongoing throughout the summer absolutely yeah and then the other thing that you have going on is adult hockey which yes I, normally is on sunday is it is, is it pushed back a little bit today because of the public because of the skate show today or? um we actually have evaluations for the summer session oh, okay so they'll be doing their evaluations for bc and d league uh, tonight uh, after the show okay and june 11th the summer league will start. It starts, yes, I see. and then okay. we'll be back to having that on Sunday okay. evenings. Okay, yeah. So you can contact the rink to find out yep. more information about that. Um, and then what's going to be going on over here? There's the outdoor rink yes. facility, and and that's going to be used in the summer. I know for the camps. Yeah, but. that'll be off ice for the camps as well as during any of our public sessions. You can come out and roller skate really? or roller blade. Yep. So you can do either. You can switch back and forth, <laughs> um, as well as on Monday. And Wednesday evenings, we've been doing a drop-in for um, really? for roller hockey. Nice. We've got a session for 12U and then 12 and up. And then uh, same thing with Tuesday nights for adults. All that info is also just on our website, kciicecenter.com. Awesome. That's awesome. So Kansas City Ice Center is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. Baseball fields right across the street. Yes. Uh, beach volleyball place right before you get to the Kansas City Ice Center. It's it's easy to find. Um, you can go to kciicecenter.com. 913-441-3033 is their phone number. They've got a uh, Facebook page, which, yes. you, which you run and yes. you do an ex excellent, excellent <laughs> job of. And I uh, appreciate you posting our stuff on there. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, and, uh, you know, so you can get all the information that you need for uh, this summer to keep your kids busy and, and yep. skating. Get and some skating get, in, Getting hockey. started and, yeah, all that kind of stuff. Get ready for well, hockey for the fall. That's right. Yep. Uh, and it's coming up super fast. It will, so. yes. Oh, Christy, thank you so much for joining us. Thank I you for having it. me. We're going to take a quick break. You're watching or listening to Good Sports, the KC Sports and Fitness Magazine show. We're coming to you from the Kansas City Ice Center, and they are located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. I'm Steve Fish. We'll be right back. Good luck on your skate today. Thank you. <laughs> Stay tuned. We'll have more of Good Sports after these messages. Come on out to the Kansas City Ice Center and skate on the outdoor pavilion or the indoor ice rink. And sign up now for Learn to Skate and Learn to Play Hockey classes at the Kansas City Ice Center. The KC Ice Center is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. For more information on public skating times, to register for classes, or schedule an upcoming party or group event, visit kcicecenter.com or call 913-441-3033. That's 913-441-3033. Sign up beginning June 22nd for Sporting Lee Summit's pre-K through high school recreational leagues. Visit SportingLS.org for information and registration forms. And sign up now for Sporting Lee Summit's summer soccer camps. These camps are 90 minutes a day for three days each week and are for boys and girls U7 through 19. Camps will be held at Z Sports Arena and will stress improving soccer skills. Register today at SportingLS.org. Eagles Landing is the place to play golf in the Southland. For more details, visit EaglesLandingGolfCourse.com. And for tee times, call 816-318-0004 and make the drive to see why Eagles Landing is the best golf value in KC. People today use hundreds of sources to find local information online. Have you Googled yourself lately? 
bad online comments can irreparably damage you and your business. For a free online strategy review, contact Market Leverage at 816-600-0564. That's 816-600-0564. Whatever your sport, maximize your performance at Core Strategies Physical Therapy, Sports Performance, and Medical Fitness Center in Overland Park. The team at Core specializes in rehab and performance training for all ages and activity levels. To learn more about Core's sports-specific programs, visit coreptkc.com or call 913-322-4000. Experience a touch of the Ozarks at Winterstone Golf Course in Independence. And sign up now for Winterstone's Major Series Tournaments. And visit winterstonegolf.com for daily specials and great offers. For tee times, go to winterstonegolf.com or call 816-257-5755. Contact Golf Tech in Overland Park and set up your golf swing evaluation, lessons, club fitting, and more. Golf Tech is the world leader in golf lessons and can show you how to swing better and play better golf. Golf swing evaluations are now on sale for $95, regular $125. For general information, visit GolfTech.com. Or to schedule an evaluation, lesson, or club fitting, contact the Overland Park Golf Tech at 913-642-8881. These days, we're all so busy and many of us ignore our health and let stress turn into chronic pain. Dr. Lynn McIntosh of Kansas City Chiropractic can provide you with the proper care to relieve pain and stress, improve your health, and get more out of life. And right now, get a free deep tissue laser treatment with your initial visit. Just mention KC Sports when you make your appointment. For more information on Dr. McIntosh and Kansas City Chiropractic, call 816-753-4600 or visit kansascitychiropractic.com. Welcome back to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness Show, the show that complements Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine. I am Steve Fish. Today we're here at the Kansas City Ice Center located on Johnson Drive, two miles west of 435, where you can skate on their outdoor pavilion or on their indoor ice rink. Call 913-441-3033 or visit their website, kcicecenter.com. For more details on public skate sessions, upcoming camps, and their Learn to Skate and their Learn to Play Hockey programs. Now you can pick up your copy of KC Sports and Fitness at over 700 locations, including Core Strategies Physical Therapy at most golf courses in KC, including right here at Winterstone. Plus, you'll always find it at the Kansas City Ice Center. Now, in our current issue of Kansas City Sports and Fitness, check out our Heartland Soccer Report, presented by Market Leverage. This month, we update readers on the $300 million Gateway Village Complex coming to Grandview. And in this issue, we honor U.S. Army High School top performers from Park Hill and Shawnee Mission East High Schools, and we feature a future soldier from Washington High who just shipped out for basic training. And coming up on July 9th, we'll be at the Kansas City Ice Center. And the KC Ice Center is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. Now, if you'd like to have us come out and tape a show at your business location, call Good Sports at 913-764-2050. Now, you can visit our website, kcsportspaper.com, to find a link to a list of locations where you can find Kansas City sports, and you can actually check out a PDF of the entire issue on our website, too. And now you can view Good Sports on YouTube. All you have to do is search for the Good Sports KC channel. And now joining us here at the Kansas City Ice Center is Dada Conte. He is the executive technical director for the Kansas Rush Soccer Club, and he's also a coach for many teams for the Kansas Rush. Uh, thanks for joining us today. You're just coming right off a match and going right back to a match uh, from here, correct? Yes, thank you for having me. Oh, you bet, you bet. I'm glad you could find the time to, to find your way out here to the ice center. And uh, uh, where do you guys play? Uh, we just had a game in uh, Overland Park Soccer Complex. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Okay, so it's fairly close. Yeah. To, so the Kansas Rush has been around for quite a while. You have a large number of kids. You've got a busy time going on right now. We're taping this in, in late May. You've got your pre-tryout camp and then your tryouts. By the time this airs, uh, the competitive teams will probably be picked. Correct. But uh, you've got some other things that are going on this summer, uh, like camps. Fill yeah. us in on what's going on with your camps. I think we have two type of a camp uh, to provide for our kids. The first one is a recreational camp, which is July 25th to 18. Uh, July 25th to 28. So okay, nine, sure. Uh, nine, th- 9 in the morning to 11 in the morning. So okay. And that's for what age kids? Uh, uh, eight years, uh, five years old to eight, eight, yeah. to 8 years old, yeah. So when you get 
a five year old and a, to an eight year old out there if you're coach are, are you going to be coaching them i'll yeah. be supervising oh, okay yeah. so so w- what do you work on with those kids i mean what what are the, obviously it's fundamentals Correct. but but um you know how do you keep them engaged how do you keep them interested how do you keep them focused a um, lot of games you play you know you play a lot of game through a soccer game uh, and also a lot of dribbling Mm-hmm. You know, but through a game like shark minnows, you know, green light, red light. Oh, okay. It's called those kind of stuff. Gotcha. But, uh, so. but they're they're learning the skills as Correct. they're doing that, definitely, and it keeps them involved. Yeah. Um, uh, and then you've got a competitive camp that's uh, coming up in mid-July. Ju- Correct. And that precedes uh, your... Um, your season that starts yes. off about that time. So the competitive camp, what again, what what ages, what will you work on? Like in competitive camp is usually a preseason camp. Uh, mm-hmm. is uh, from 8 years old to U18. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. it's the bigger kids that, that are going to get out there and play the tournaments here yeah. in town but also travel. Correct. It's, okay. Um, so it's so okay. Well, that's that's really good and then People can sign up for those right now. Yes, for both of can, those things. You can sign up by going to KansasRush dot com. Okay. Or also, you can call our office or stop by our office to get uh, sign up for it. Phone number for the office is nine one three seven six four forty one eleven. Correct. Where's the office located? Uh, is located of one five seven zero eight Mahaffey Circle okay. in in Alita. Yeah, and that's like what 151st, first, um, just by garment. Y- yeah, yeah, y- yeah, you, yeah. Um, I 35 151st. It's on the east side, correct? Northeast side. Correct. Yeah, it's easy to find yeah. actually. Um, so the rush. How many competitive teams do you have? How many rec teams do you have? We have. If you go by team, we have about over 60 teams on wow. the competitive side. Wow. In the rec size, would probably. It depends. Two hundred something teams. Oh my! Wow. Because it starts from six years old to eighteen years old. Right. Know, so in the rec side. So, so the rec season, it you're registering people, kids for it right now. Yeah. Um, when does it start? Uh, rec start until uh, mm, Jul- September. Okay, back to school. Back to school time. So, and our registration it close mid August. Okay. So, and now it's open up, just open up like uh, June, and then it okay. it's going to go up to up to August, mid-August. Gotcha. So, so if if I was going to pick between some of the different soccer clubs that are out there, what what is it about the rush? Obviously, besides your involvement in it, which I know is a huge plus. Thank you. Um, what is it about the rush that uh, me as a parent would? make me want to send my kids that way besides obviously location i think the biggest thing for us family Uh fun uh and play with your friends i got you You know rec side you know that's what you know usually the rec is built based on school right and classroom as well so you're in the same class with people and you're in the same school so and those are the stuff you're with the people within your class in school so you you play with your friends, so those sure. are very important to us. And also, in the competitive side, is not just the soccer aspect, but family, right? You know, and learn soccer, learn life lesson through soccer, right? So those yeah. are very important to us. Yeah. yeah, I know. I know that's real important to you. And yeah. I know in our last interview, we talked uh, briefly about that, yeah. and people can check that out through your website, through my website, my, my uh, YouTube page. Well, I want to thank you very much, Dada, for coming out here today and, and joining me. And thank you. Bringing your family thank along you. with you to, uh, to hang out with us. Uh, that'll do it for our show today. I want to thank the Kansas City Ice Center, Christy Lewis, uh, and uh, from the Kansas Rush, Dada Conte, for joining us today. Be sure to join me, Steve Fish, again next week at the same time for Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness Show. And check out some of our other shows on YouTube. Search for the Good Sports KC channel. So until next week, be sure to read all about sports, health, and exercise. In Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine, you will find it online at kcsportspaper.com and all over Kansas City, and it's free, so pick it up today. <laughs>
Watch more episodes on the Good Sports KC YouTube channel. The Golf Hospitality Association is now enrolling members. If you're a golf marshal, starter, ranger, or other course employee, find out how you can be a driving force for golf as a member of the Golf Hospitality Association. Visit their website at golfhospitalityassociation.org or call 816-398-4110 for more information. The Kansas Rush Soccer Club is now registering players for their youth recreational leagues. Kansas Rush offers recreational soccer programs for players starting at U4 all the way to U18. To sign up now and to learn more about their upcoming player development program, visit kansasrush.com or call 913-764-4111. Contact Golf Tech in Overland Park and set up your golf swing evaluation, lessons, club fitting, and more. Golf Tech is the world leader in golf lessons and can show you how to swing better and play better golf. Golf swing evaluations are now on sale for $95, regular $125. For general information, visit GolfTech.com. Or to schedule an evaluation, lesson, or club fitting, contact the Overland Park Golf Tech at 913-642-8881. Iron Horse is one of the top public courses in the KC Metro. It's rated four stars by Golf Digest and is the only Troon course in KC. For the best rates, visit their website. The course is in great condition, so book your next tee time at ironhorsegolf.com. Don't let nagging aches and pains add strokes to your golf score. Golf is challenging when you feel 100%. How much harder is it when you're not? To help with pain, sprains, and strains, contact Arbor Creek Health and Wellness. Arbor Creek has a -a one-of-a-kind treatment style which addresses motion of the joints and spine and also the muscles. Call them for an appointment at 913-397-6900. Same-day appointments are available. Or learn more and make your appointment online at activejoco.com. Visit GolfMD for club repairs, swing analysis, and custom clubs and fittings with the TrackMan Launch Monitor. Call GolfMD at 913-663-5050 or go online to golf-md.com. People today use hundreds of sources to find local information online. Have you Googled yourself lately? Bad online comments can irreparably damage you and your business. For a free online strategy review, contact Market Leverage at 816-600-0564. That's 816-600-0564. Whatever your sport, maximize your performance at Core Strategies Physical Therapy, Sports Performance, and Medical Fitness Center in Overland Park. The team at Core specializes in rehab and performance training for all ages and activity levels. To learn more about Core's sports-specific programs, visit coreptkc.com or call 913-322-4000. Experience a touch of the Ozarks at Winterstone Golf Course in Independence. And sign up now for Winterstone's major series tournaments. And visit winterstonegolf.com for daily specials and great offers. For tee times, go to winterstonegolf.com or call 816-257-5755. Come on out to the Kansas City Ice Center and skate on the outdoor pavilion or the indoor ice rink. And sign up now for Learn to Skate and Learn to Play Hockey Classes at the Kansas City Ice Center. The KC Ice Center is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. For more information on public skating times, to register for classes, or schedule an upcoming party or group event, visit kcicecenter.com or call 913-441-3033. That's 913-441-3033. Are you looking for information on youth sport camps and activities this summer? Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine encourages you to check out these organizations. Horse Crazy, Summer Hill Farm Horse Camp is a great way to make new friends and spend a week dedicated to nothing but horses. For more information, visit summerhillfarm.net or call 913-486-7977. Looking for something fun this summer? Say yes to bowling at Mission Bowl in Olathe. Sign up now for clinics, leagues, skill and drill camps, or high school camps. For more details, visit missionbowl.com or call 913-782-0279. Girls grades 7 to 12 can sign up now for the UMKC Girls Elite ID Soccer Camps in June and July. These camps are for players who aspire to play at the collegiate level. Visit umkcwomenssoccercamps.com for more information. Registration is open for Clayview Country Club Summer Sports Camps beginning in July. These camps are for kids ages 5 to 12. 
campers will swim, play tennis, basketball, volleyball, and more. To register, call 816-781-7939. Summer hockey camps start in June at the Kansas City Ice Center. Go to kcicecenter.com for schedules and details. Register now for the Kansas Rush six-week player development program for ages six to nine and the Junior Rush program for four and five-year-olds. For information and to sign up, visit kansasrush.com or call 913-764-4111. Chris Lawson's Rockhurst Hawklet Soccer Camp and Strikers and Goalkeepers Academy is now registering K through ninth grade campers. Four-day sessions start June 6th, 13th, 20th, and 27th. Register at rockhursths.edu and click the summer camps link. Sign up now for Sporting Lee Summit's Summer Soccer Camps. These camps are 90 minutes a day for three days each week and are for boys and girls U7 through 19. Camps will be held at C Sports Arena and will stress improving soccer skills. Register today at sportingls.org. 